Are you guys ready? Let's begin. Cherish the spirit, create the vision. Follow the faith, serve in humility. Aja, aja, aja. Thank you so much. And so as always, uh, today we have another great week. And so I just want to start off by saying, you know, let's just all welcome one another and say hi to each other, right? So we have so many different members here, all from different parts of the world, right? And so it's great to see. And that's the this true uh, beauty of Atomy, right? The, the fact that we have so many different backgrounds, people from different countries, uh, different parts of the world. And that's the power of this business. You're not limited to what you have in your own country, but you can have partners everywhere. It doesn't matter if it's here in Canada or in the US or in Norway or in Sweden, right? Or in some different parts of Asia, right? So that's the power that Atomy has given you. You have been able to open a global store. And so today we have a very special guest speaker uh, for today. And so she is someone that we probably all met once before. She came on here quite a while back, but uh, she's also a very young and very successful uh, young leader currently and a, a very well off, doing well off in her own uh, through her hard work and effort. And so today she's going to share with us uh, through her lectures. And so if we can give our full attention to her because she's going to be giving us some secrets on how to succeed in this Atomy business. So I'd like to welcome our Shenro's master, uh, Rose Choi. Hello everyone, it is good to see you. I am Shenro's master. Uh, uh, Rose, Rose Che, Songi Che. Uh, it is so good to see you. Uh, today I'm gonna share my story. Uh, why I am doing this business and uh, how could I meet this uh, Atomy business? So uh, first, before that, uh, I want to share uh, my personal st story because uh, that's. Uh, in my story, you will get uh, you will get about why people is very uh, eager to do atomy business because in their story, uh, sometimes we uh, in our life we will gonna have some uh, desire, and I think uh, atomy is a kind of uh, the, a tool for uh, solving those kind of things. So right, um, I'm gonna share my PowerPoint slides. Okay, uh, yeah, this is my twenties. <laughs> yeah, well, I was quite young, uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, I tell uh, my twenties, it was fierce because I think I lived very hard and I lived really fiercely so and uh, many things came to me so I had to over uh, I had to overcome those kind of things so I am going to share about this um, I when I was young uh, in, in my 20s I need to do many part-time jobs I know uh, many uh, people are doing this but actually uh, I had to part-time job uh, because in my situation, if I didn't any kind of work when I was studying in my university, it was not easy to uh, uh, like uh, get money from my parents. And uh, even when I was in my high school, uh, I didn't uh, part-time jobs, but actually at the time, in Korea, uh, you know, we have to, we, uh, we, we like in Korea, like uh, many parents are very uh, interested in their child, children's education, you know that. Uh, so uh, I was going to um, on a private academy and in Korea, it's very popular. Like every student is, go uh, is going to the private academy 
but I know it is not that common in like uh, in Canada or other uh, countries. But Korea is very it's it is really really uh, popular and very normal thing. So uh, as I know, like a uh, student uh, number, uh, the number of students uh, going to the private academy is over the student uh, number uh, of not going private academy. So that means. If I am not, uh, if I, uh, I, when I went to my private academy, uh, all of my friends were there. And, uh, it was like, if I didn't go there, it was not easy to meet my friends. You know what? Because every student is in the private academy. So, I want to meet my friend and I I wanted to get good scores then we need to be there. So uh it was very common in Korea. Uh very sad, but actually I think it is a kind of good experience because it's like a a society, it's a small society. So when uh if you are getting to the company, then you have to work hard. And uh, sometimes I think uh, the, the those kind of environment uh, makes you more strong. I think that uh, makes you stronger because even though you don't want to get into the society, you need to be like a uh, like a more consistent, right? So uh, that's why uh, I really want to get into. Uh, the private academy and I want to take the many courses because I want to get good scores and actually I am quite good at studying so my score was always good so my parents uh uh expectation was really high for me uh but my brother was not <laughs> yeah so their expectation was always like uh for me uh so I was very a uh, good student at the time uh in my teenagers but because of the money, uh, like uh, in a vacation, because we didn't go to the school, so we have more time. So uh, like uh, usually the academy makes more courses. So it's like uh, uh, the normal, uh, normal season. Uh, we are going, uh, it's like we are going to school. We have to uh, go to the uh, academy. It was like that. So I was there. And I want to take the courses, but we didn't have enough money. So my mother told me that, oh, I cannot uh, afford you uh, because uh, of the money. Uh, the, the the more taking more courses is impossible. So uh, please just take the general course, general course for yourself. So yeah, I, I told that to my academy teachers and it was very sad because all of my friends uh, their parents can afford that, like the other courses, if they want to take any kind of courses, their uh, parents can afford those kind of things. So uh, I was very sad at the time, but you know, it's a reality. Uh, there's nothing I can do. Uh, so I just told the academy, but thankfully, the owner, uh, he was an English teacher, and he was owning our uh, academy, and he told me that, Oh, you can take my course free. So I did it very uh, thankfully because uh, usually he was a very popular teacher there. So uh, like uh, like over 300 students getting together and listening to his course because he was so popular and he was owning the academy. So he told me that just sit there and you don't have to pay the money for me. So yeah, I did it. So it was very lucky for me, but the other teacher, and he was teaching mathematics, and I know he was owning his own academy before, but he failed to run it. So he was living in our academy buildings, the top uh, floor, and he was divided with his family because of a debt. He had many, uh, he, he had uh, so many uh, staff because of uh, failing running his own academy. But he just called me and like, uh, 
uh, when uh, before you get uh, take the course, just uh, follow, uh, come to me. So I visited him, and he just gave money, and you can take my course with this money. And it was so sad because of the money. Uh, it, it was very uh, uh, gratitude uh, thing, like a, a thankful thing. He gave me money, and he was caring about me. So it was so uh, good experience also for me. Like uh, I could feel the love of the other people, uh, and like uh, the the adults who uh, who was carrying a very young child. I could feel those kind of things. So wow, I have to help the other people like him. So I could learn that. But at the time, when I uh, took that money and when I gave it to uh, my mother, uh, I couldn't uh, stop crying because it was like, uh, you know, like I thought like my friend life is not like me, but why I have to suffer from this money? So I think at the time in my uh, mind, uh, something something happened like in my mind i mean i had a desire like uh, to live well i uh, i had a desire uh to uh not to not to suffer from money <laughs> those kind of things was in my mind but you know what so i lived very very hard so i when i just get into the university i started uh every single part time enough so i need to earn money for myself uh, for my students living life because i have to uh, go and uh, go back and forth to my school and uh, my university and home so and it costs you know and i should eat it costs i should also like uh, drink a coffee with my friend and you know it's like a university so i have to hang out with my friends, it costs. So uh, I need money. So that's why I started a part-time job. But usually, yeah, I know, usually in Canada, yeah, many students are doing this and it is not, uh, it is not common like uh, uh, giving money from their parents after uh, over 20s, maybe. But in Korea, the society, the, the, the our like a culture is a little bit different and like, uh, uh, when we are students, uh, we had to uh, we have to focus on our study. It's very common. So uh, the the Korean parents usually support their uh, children uh, finishing their like a studying work. But uh, I had but I had to work very hard and I had to study very hard. So when I uh, studied. Uh, very i i was studying very 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 hard so actually i am graduated uh, from university of seoul uh, not Seoul national university uh, <laughs> because of english some students think like uh, i know some exchange students from abroad uh, they thought it was a seoul national university so they came to our school uh, but actually it is uh, seoul uh, university of seoul city so the Seoul city is running this uh, university. So it's a kind of public. Actually, our school fee was very cheap. Uh, the, the university, the fee was really, really cheap. So uh, I uh, actually, I thought my parents could afford it, but actually they couldn't. So uh, like uh, for eight semesters, like uh, four years, I uh, got a scholarship like five times and the other uh like uh two just just when i get into the school my parents like uh paid uh, the school fee uh in my uh, junior but actually the other like a uh, seven semesters i got a scholarship with like a five and the other two semesters uh like i got a debt from the bank so actually the government uh, uh borrowed the money to the students you know so i got uh i got a tab from uh my university uh, about my university so it's my grade 
but can you imagine how I lived uh, really hard? Like I have to work and I have to study and I have to prepare my future. And like uh, it's my uh, grade of senior that phone one year to create. I got all A plus because uh, I think I had a kind of desire like uh, I have to do everything very well. Like I have to do live well. So I have to get good score. So I have to be more like more and more and more and more uh, li living hard. Uh, this, uh, so I lived very hard, but you know what? There's no goals, just scores, just working and just getting into the company. It was my goal, but there is no specific company that I want, wanted to get in. It means uh, I had uh, some kind of desire in my uh, inside. I really wanted to live very well and I wanted to be rich, but I didn't know the way because nobody told me and I couldn't learn. And Nowadays, uh, uh, when I uh, see Instagram, there are so many good videos in on in YouTube. Like uh, many many successful people, like a uh, freely, their lecture is coming up, so they are teaching to others. So we can see that. But you know what? Uh, uh, it was like uh, the early two twin uh, two thousand, the early two thousand. So it means at the time. Uh, when I just get into uh, uh, the university, iPhone just came out. So at the time, YouTube was not that popular, and there uh, there are not uh, there were not much uh, ex uh, opportunities that we could listen to the successful people. But nowadays, I think the environment is really good. Anytime you can read a book. Anytime you can watch a YouTube video and anytime you can take a good lesson from online. So you can uh, learn more uh, and you can learn easily nowadays. But at the time, it was not easy to meet someone successful because no, like uh, there's no possible way to meet them. But anyways, I get into the company. So I actually, before I studied Atomy Business, previously I worked for an uh, insurance company as a sales coaching manager. Um, and this, it, uh, working this company was not easy as well. Because when I was worked uh, in this company, my life was uh, uh, getting more tough because I was working and, you know, my parents uh, couldn't prepare for their own, like, a, a retirement, uh, uh, retirement. So I need to support them. And also I needed uh, to, like, uh, how can I say, uh, my parents was very sick at, at the time. Uh, my God get got uh, my mom got lung cancer, and my father got her stroke twice. And uh, after like a uh, uh, after getting operation, my mother uh, take a uh, uh, over six months anti cancer therapy, and you know it is really painful. And, and she had to uh, in a hospital, so she stayed in hospital like for six months. And uh, I remember her hair was all out. <laughs> and after that, she came back to us. But after a year, uh, my mother got lung cancer again. The doctor told that because the other cancers, like it is already uh, going to everywhere, like uh, not everywhere, I mean, uh, around the chest. So uh, they couldn't do any kind of operation. So you need to like a uh, targeted anti-cancer therapy. So she took the pill. Thankfully, 
now she's uh, uh she's uh, almost fine because she's still taking the pills and she she still has some uh cancer cells inside but actually the cancer cells are almost gone it was like a but at the time everything comes to me like i have to earn money and i had to like uh, support my parents and my mom see my father see, and uh yeah, my brother uh uh was like a, a he couldn't help me because like uh, he has uh also personal issues so i have to be very uh i have to i, I had to stand very strongly because all my family was on my like shoulder so i need to carry them and it was my 20s uh i was young i was i was very young and uh, i was just learning about uh society uh like a working in company uh, and in my company uh like my bosses and my like uh like colleagues some of them they were very mean <laughs> you know <laughs> they were so mean like uh it was like a jungle because uh uh yeah some uh mean people uh like t told me and actually i've uh i learned many things from them which i was uh, at the time because it was my first uh working at the company like a like a like i i did a part-time job but it was a, a very short time like uh you know three months so I changed every time, but I, I should work like I worked for this company like a six years. At first time, my boss was very strict and the other like colleagues, some people, they were very mean. And I was very naive at the time. So I was a naive, uh, pe uh, naive person. So when someone asked me to do something, it was not easy to reject, you know what? Uh, the you know uh, at first time, but if they think, uh, if they thought that uh, uh, you know some people think that someone is easy to handle, you know they become they become mean to them because they think they are very weak person, uh, weak people. So I think I was a kind of those uh, kind of uh, they, uh, person because I was very naive and I didn't know how to reject well and I didn't know how to uh, like communicate with the others. So uh, I think this company makes me grow and more mature because I learned how to reject, how to communicate, how to work together and like uh, how to not looking uh how can i say uh how to behave like a manager so the other people uh when the other people talk to me they uh i was like uh i didn't want to become um, how can i say comfortable to others you know what sometimes it is needed when you work if you're a so good person, it is not easy to work there because some mean people will like uh, uh, do the act like uh, act very badly to you. So you should learn from that. So I learned it, and then I came to at me. Now I am doing at me, quitting my job. You know what? Some people are telling me at me business is very uh, difficult because of the relationship. But I remember when I were uh, when I was in insurance company, the relationship was more difficult for me. There are so many, many, many mean people around me, but I learned something from them. So now I am doing anatomy, but actually relationship is not a problem for me because it's very relative, you know. The the the, uh, the relationship is relationship, so it is relative, right? So you can handle people. No, you cannot handle. You can, 
like just uh, like communicate with them. And if they don't listen to you, you don't have to uh, worry about it. In, uh, uh, in Atomy, uh, our chairman, Mr. Park, uh, Chairman Park Han Gil, he told that, like, uh, oh, I just know the Korean, but how can I say it in English? Like, the law of mind, right? The law of my mind. Just telling. Accepting is their, uh, they, they can accept or not. It's their choice, right? You are just like a telling to anyone, anytime, what you want. Then someone will accept it, but someone will not. But it doesn't matter because you are doing what you have to do. Just telling. So it's a kind of, I think, it's a relationship is almost the same when you do uh, uh, the business with your sponsors and partners, you can say about your opinion very clearly, and we should persuade each other. But if they are not, uh, uh, if they don't agree with you, you don't have to be upset, right? Because we are opinion and uh, could be different because we are a different people. So you can accept it. And I learned it from uh, my company. Uh, uh, so I could learn for that. And I also could learn about it from our chairman, Park han as well. So I really uh, like uh, his lectures because in his lectures, there are so many good like uh, lessons we can learn and very important uh, tips when we do our own business not just about Atomy. If you do your own business, any kind of business, you can uh, like use his teaching in your like a uh, business, even though it is not an Atomy. All right, anyways, uh, I was telling about my like previous life. Why? Do you think is it important? Why I am telling you this? Because in my story, this is it. <laughs> For me, life was very tough in my 20s, but I survived anyways. And, but like uh, 10 years, my 20s life, uh, during, uh, during that period, I always had a desire inside, inside me. I had a desire to live really well. I had a desire to live, uh, like a, a become rich. Those uh, desires they were inside me, but because of my life was very tough. It was not uh, like how can I? Say, uh, my mother was sick, father was sick, and working was very hard. And and I had to I need to earn money during studying those all those of kind uh kind of things makes me uh, made me frustrated and that frustration made me a loser in my mind so it was like I cannot become rich I cannot become successful I am not the kind of person. So that kind of mind was in my mind. <laughs> but actually, you know what? Is it true? Is it true? Everyone in Atomy, they are not that kind of person. They cannot be successful in this business or the other work. I don't think so. Every single person has their own, like a, possibility right they have a possibility and the future is not fixed we can change it we can make it but before meeting Atomy, my mind was just like a loser because i was uh 
very busy to survive. And if I have a dream in my mind, and if I have a desire in my mind, the environment, and I didn't know the way how to overcome it. So everything uh, around me made me frustrated and give up this kind of dream. So before meeting Adami, I didn't realize that I had so many dreams and I had so many desires. Before that, you know what? Before meeting Adami, I was always uh, telling like, well, I'm not that desirable person. I just want like a, I always like, a, I don't want money. <laughs> money is not important for me. The other thing is more important, like uh, my friends, family, you know, I always tell them like that. But truth is, I uh, just believe me, I experienced. Truth is, if you don't have money, you cannot protect your family and friends. When my parents were sick, we didn't have enough money. So I was so worried. But thankfully, my mother has an insurance. God, I was so relieved at the time. So if you want to protect your family, and if you want to help your friend, you should have money. And if you have any kind of dream, money will help you. So, I mean, um, it is not, uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't mean that money is the most important thing. I mean, if you really care about your friends and family, and if you want to protect, and if you want to live well, then money is a very good tool for you. It's a very good way to use. You can use it. It's a, it's a tool. It is not a goal. I mean, money is not a goal. Money is a tool. Makes your life abundant. And protect your family. And protect your life. That's why I am doing this business. Through my story, I learned it. But uh, when I started this business, I may not know it, right? I may not know it. So my husband actually recruited me in anatomy because uh, his mother-in-law, uh, his mother, my mother-in-law, she is a leaders club in anatomy. And my husband also felt the same feeling with me because he was very responsible uh, to his family because he's a, a firstborn. And when he was very young, um, he told me that his life was also tough because of the money. And he remember uh, he was living very, very, very old house in Korea. You know what? In Korea, like a very old house. So the it was like uh we call it panjaton very uh old yeah very old and uh like uh, uh the house in bad situation we call it in poor city so uh, there is a the, the typical type of house in Korea so he told me that he remembered he was growing up there so he also has some desire inside living well. But after studying, uh, his mother uh, becomes successful in this business. His life also changed. You know what? His parents' life uh, was different. And then his life became changed, uh, different. So he started to uh, uh, get to know about our company. And he took on, uh, he took like holidays from the company for two weeks 
because at the time, like uh, some issues in our company, so he also suffered from that. So he was looking for the other job. And his mother told him that you can learn about at me and you can do our business. Just come to the seminar. So he went there and he saw the vision because his mother was already successful in anatomy. He could feel that. My, my family is more uh, communicative. My family is no more worrying about the money. I am a firstborn, but I am not that uh like uh i don't have to take more responsibility for my parents life add to me make those kind of things so he recruited me for three years at first time i rejected i thought i was not that kind of person as well i cannot uh i think i cannot do multi-level marketing I think I cannot do those kind of things. I am working for the company, but ML, uh, MLM business, I think I cannot do. So I reject it. But he never give up. He never gave up. He always telling me like, for our future, we have to do this business. For our future, you're gonna get married. No, you're gonna get married, and we have to live together. What kind of business or what kind of jobs can make our life rich or living well? Atomy is the way. Atomy is the uh, the only way uh, to like escape from our reality. So you are always worrying about your parents. You have to do this business. So I, t uh, so I agreed after three years because I could feel power of Atomy products. During rejection of this business, I was still using our products, cosmetics, detergents, shampoo, body cleanser, toilet papers. I was telling him like, I am not gonna do this business, but I was using the product. I lived alone. So I had to uh, purchase every uh, uh, daily necessities by myself. When I first used Atomy products, especially cosmetic, I thought it was so good, so I used. And I used toothbrush, I used toothpaste, and the product was good. And the cost was good. The price was so good for me as well. So like uh, I was changing my mart. I was not doing Atomy business, but in my room, like in my home, I could see every single Atomy item. Like a detergent, like a brush, a toothbrush, cosmetics, sunscreen, yeah, everything. So, hmm. I think I like ATV products. And even though I was rejecting this business, still I am using the product. I think I can make the people like me. Because it's a uh, daily necessities. Everybody should use it. And I liked it. I think I can make uh, th uh, the people like me. So that's why I started this business. That is the uh, one of the reasons. And uh, this is my uh, like 20s pictures. How, how do you think? My skin tone was like a wall here. <laughs> my skin tone was just like a brick. So my skin was very dark at the time. Here is my uh, 
my friend uh, hand is really really it's brighter than me and uh my skin texture wasn't that good it was very dull and i got sometimes breakouts on my face as well and my pores around nose it was always clogged so i could see uh like a blackheads and whiteheads and i squeezed out them so i got bruised here and sometimes that makes inflammation so i got another breakout on my nose so i became unicorn like that <laughs> so yeah it was my uh 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 20s skin dark dirt uneven congested <laughs> like breakouts so that is my skin but after meeting at Tommy products this is the thing uh, before renewal and evening care i use the product and it makes my skin more glow and brighter and looks fresh so can you feel the difference between the pictures can you see see it looks very dull but it is glowing and the skin texture was soft became soft and still i have a uh, uh how can i say sometimes breakouts came out but it isn't that serious and usually my skin texture is very smooth and uh, when i do any kind apply any kind of uh like uh, moisturizers or like uh, foundations people are asking me how your skin is glowing like that atomy makes my skin so that is a kind of uh the product quality so i could feel that and secondly I listened to the lecture of life scenario. I just uh, deep down inside me, like I said, I had a dream, I had a desire. But because of the reality, I have to bury them very deeply. <laughs> and I had to uh, never look back. because of my reality and i don't know how to become successful how to overcome those kind of uh things but the chairman bakangil told us that you should write down your own life scenario and it was like very uh shocking for me life scenario dream vividly <laughs> and you can become successful every people can become successful uh, but uh like he also say like uh people who cannot become rich because they don't think of becoming rich it was shocking so wow that's right that's right i you know I was saying like money is not important for me it means i was not interested in become, becoming rich how could i become rich with that mind so this life scenario uh made me dream again and it found out my desire and my dreams inside of me it helped uh they came out so now i'm always dreaming everything and i i i believe that i could do it it's thanks to it it is thanks to atomy when i uh because i am doing this business I am always listening to successful people and I can learn from them and I can change my uh, mindset to like them. 
So I I believe that I could become successful in anatomy also because my mindset had changed. I now I believe I could become successful in the other area. If I do other business, I know how to become successful now. There is a law of success, you know. I learned it. So I become more confident. That uh, Atomy gave me very, very uh, important values that I get from Atomy. So I'm going to share shortly about my dreams and desire. <laughs> like the first one is like this, all the stuff from here to there, giving it to me. I want to purchase everything that I want to have without thinking of money. When I went to the, uh, for example, when I uh, uh, get, uh, when I get to the clothes store, clothes shop, when I see the the thing that I like, I had to, I, I usually check the price tag. I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> no more price tag for one day, not every day. I mean, for one day. Just for one day. That's my uh one of my life scenario. And also, there is a Poseidon undersea resort, and it's under the sea, as you can see. And this is the first five star undersea hotel. And it costs a lot. Maybe. 30, 30 billion, 3 billion dollar? Oh, no, no, I mean, uh, no, no, it, 3,000,000 won. So in Korean money, it's, uh, my husband and me, if we go there, two people, it costs about 30 million Korean won. And you can do it like three zeros <laughs> with that. Then it means 30,000? right thirty thousand dollars around yeah it costs like that for one week travel very expensive but i want to go there the atomy if i do atomy i think it is possible to go there and also you know what in europe there are so many old castles around so i found these things and i really want to visit here and do some party with my partners because as you can see uh, usually these old castles there's nothing around that <laughs> nothing only the castle is there and there's ooze <laughs> so it is very uh like uh how can i say going there alone uh it's a little bit uh like a yeah a phrase of uh to me so uh, with my partners taking them and having party together so staying there and like uh having a travel in europe around together that is one of my life scenario and also my relatives are living in new zealand so i uh, also lived in new zealand for uh two uh, uh 10 months 10 months uh so for almost for a year so uh and I really like the the country because my relatives living there and it's so peaceful. The nature is so good. So I uh, and uh, my relatives are actually in uh, Auckland in North Island. But when I visited Queenstown, the city was so pretty. It was so beautiful. So I really want to have a second home in New Zealand especially in Queenstown. If I are uh, owning a second house in Queenstown, then my uh, relatives in Auckland, they can also visit there. They can use my house. And I also visit uh, Queenstown anytime I want, staying there. So I really want to have. So I downloaded the New Zealand, uh, the real estate application. I found a house. This house is in Queenstown. 
So uh, I write down the address. <laughs> Later, I will purchase this house to this Kelvin Heights. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is my life scenario. I I have many dreams. There is many things that I really want to do. But actually, the most important reason is this one. My uh, parents' uh, living cost. Because they are, they couldn't prepare for their own retirement very well. Uh, actually, they can live a lot, but the money is not enough. So usually I am helping them. And my mother's, uh, the medicine costs uh, is a little bit, um, it is not cheap that. Uh, so I am paying for the money about uh, my mother's medicine. And I am not sure how much hospital cost will come to us later. I am not sure because they are still sick, but they they can stand the whole their but if they are getting older and older and older, more money needed for their therapy, you know, lung cancer and heart stroke twice. They are living together. It is not easy to work. And they are like over 65. Their age is over 65. They have to enjoy their retirement. But actually, it is not easy to enjoy, you know. So this is my desire giving money to my parents so they can live very well as well, not just for me. That's why I am doing anatomy. And I know I already experienced successful person in anatomy can change their family's life through my mother-in-law. My husband and me, because she's a uh, she she's going to lawyer leaders club, but she, she's in uh, she's in leaders club at the moment. But she's going to leaders club, lawyer leaders club, and crown leaders club. And I will follow her. I can get into leaders club, royal leaders club. We could become imperial master. Then our family's life can be changed. So you can protect your family. That is very important goal for me doing this business. Atomy, so you have to think about Atomy is really, really important. And you should do this business very, very hard. And you shouldn't, you shouldn't enough, uh, you, you don't have time to complain. I know many business members are complaining about their partners, complaining about their sponsors. Not you. I mean, not you. <laughs> I saw a lot of people like that. But uh, when, uh, someday, one of my partners came to me and she very, uh, she, she wasn't that bad person. She's still a good person, but actually she, complained me a little and she was worried about i am getting upset because she, actually i think it's a kind of feedback so it was not complaining but she was she was doing a side job so actually she was not working very hard but she gave me a feedback so that was the problem at the time but uh, uh, she told me that I am very uh, worried about you're getting upset if I telling you like this, but I had to tell it. Uh, I have to talk to you. Actually, I didn't get upset after listening to her. I think it was a very positive feedback from her. But I told her that there is no time to be upset. I am too busy. And 
if you think I got like a, I got hurt, uh, like a, I got hurt from her. She was worrying about it also because her words can hurt me. She thought like that, but I told her that, no, you don't have to worry about it. I think it's a good feedback and I am too busy to got hurt. Exactly. I said that. There's no time. You're just going to the top. How could you look around everywhere? How could you, uh, like, uh, taking out of your pathway to looking at the other woods and like uh, seeing flowers and coming back to pathway and going up? It would take more time. So, if you really want to become successful in anatomy, you don't have enough time. You should always rush in, uh, rush to the top. There's no time to complaining. No time to, uh, there's no time like to get hurt. You don't have to be, you don't have to get hurt from the others. Like sometimes like people are getting hurt from partners, sponsors, consumers. But there's no time. If you're, if you're thinking of like getting hurt or if you're thinking of like, uh, complaining, I think you are not working very hard. I think you have too much time. If you have many things that you have to do, you are not falling into that kind of thinking. Just go. Just do the business. And you have to make your own group. If you are if you're taking of your right and left group, how could you can have time to complain? For uh since last week, uh last week, I stayed in like a I uh, in Korea, I have to drive around. So two days and three days, I slept out. And this week, two days and three days, I slept out alone <laughs> without my husband because I had to work. I have to go to Busan, Changwon, Daejeon, Gungju, everywhere in Korea. Someday, I have to go abroad to meet my partner. And nowadays, I am, uh, my worry, uh, one of my uh, uh, very large uh, worrying is there are too many people meeting. Too many people I have to meet. There are so many, every week, every new members are coming to me. My partners are asking me, sponsor that, sponsoring. They want to, uh, uh, they want me to sponsor them to new, uh, people. So I did, uh, uh I offer facial treatment like uh, yesterday, three people and three days ago, one people and last week, six people a week. Every day and going to the seminar and like uh, sometimes doing this kind of Zoom meeting. Make yourself busy. And it is your own business, right? So if you think so, you can be successful. The action should be followed. Just changing your mindset, that doesn't make you successful. You have to act. You have to take an action and you should think of uh, think of atomic business as yours it is not your partner's business and it is not your sponsor's business it's a binary system so you have to think about your left and right partners and consumers and how to make the your lineage grow uh the larger you always think that then you can protect your family and you can 
make your life more vividly, right? So I'm here about uh, how could be at me is successful. It's not that long because the general commission is the reason why we can get a residual income. The mastership bonus is the reason why everybody can succeed. I will tell about this. If you understand properly about mastership bonus, you can become success as well. It is your own business, but it is a business doing together, right? It is your own business, but it is a business doing together. It is very important, I think. So we are a team. Team means you can take your responsible to the others. No. Team means everybody is responsible so we can grow as a team. So your mindset is very important. All right. Sales master, 2.5 million point values, left and right. But diamond master, you need two sales masters on your left and right. Sharon, Dias, diamonds, and Sharon Rose, stars, <laughs> royals, crowns. So if you have two crowns on your left and right, then you will become imperial master. So I calculated how many masterships we needed when just one imperial master is shown up. A hundred, a uh, thousand four hundred fifty-seven crews should get together. If it is a, a thousand four hundred fifty-six, no imperial master comes out. Right? So it's like, uh, we are going to the same journey. We are on the success journey together. Uh, 1,457 crews. So you have to recruit these crews. And you are, uh, how can I say? You are the, the captain. You are the captain. So you should gather 1,457 people. And you are the captain. But in the other hand, you could be the crew of your, the other captain. If you believe your sponsors become lawyer, crown, imperial, if you are in this crew, you can become successful, right? Just following them, helping them, and doing your own business together. Everybody can success, succeed. All right, so I am making my own crew. <laughs> See, Koreans, and so we are doing facial treatment and also like some Africans and Filipinos <laughs> yeah, globally. And uh, they are Brazilians, they visited our center. Yeah, Cameroonians, yeah, he's from Cote d'Ivoire. They are from Nigeria. And they are from Cameroon. Yeah. So you should think about every single Adam business members. We are all the same crew. And we are all the, uh, uh, all heading to success. Right? It's like that. So if you have a dream and if you have a desire to success, succeed, then you should do this business and you should change your mind and you should take actions. Then you and your sponsor and your partners, they will all succeed in this business. That's Atomy's core value, I think. Everybody can succeed together. So uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I think it's time to wrap up.
And I believe that all of you will be at the top. All right, thank you. And so, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, give another uh, round of applause for our Sharon Rose Master Rose Choi for that amazing uh, lecture there. Uh, she just really uh, shared a lot about her own personal story and her growth and her journey through Adamine. So she, like, just like you and I, right? She's just a regular person, just a regular person who gone through her own hardships in life, but she was able to succeed and grow through Adamine. And that is the power that Adamine has for us today. And so I hope that you really enjoyed the lecture uh, because it's something, you know, that we should all be passionate about learning about Adam, learning about the secrets to how we can succeed because there's no real big secret. We just continue to do what we do, sharing the things that we love. And that's just how you succeed. And so once again, thank you all for joining us today. I know we did go a bit over time, but I hope that you did enjoy the uh, lecture today. And so uh, we'll end it off with our company motto, and then we'll just take a picture from here. And so if you can open your uh, mics. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Let's begin. Cherish the spirit, the spirit. great vision, Thank you so much. And so just going to take a quick picture. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh.